Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise episode, Lockout. Um, so basically the episode starts off with the Autobots helping Denny build a roller coaster contraption. It was pretty neat. And Russell teaches them how to play football, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um, however, they don't know that, de that the Decepticons, specifically Steeljaw, and the others huh, are basically watching over him. They use the Decepticon kickback as bait to lure them out of the base so that way they can get into the base or into the scrapyard to free the Decepticons that have been caught up to this point. Uh, but basically the Autobots, they find kickback, kickback frees himself and escapes. It's pretty neat, transforms into a nice little, um, a, one of those, um, drag strip cars which is pretty cool if you don't know what I'm talking about never mind I'll probably explain myself on that in a, little, in a later video anyways so basically the Decepticons enter the base they they modify the defenses so that the Autobots don't get into the base because it's um they basically use a subsonic I think subsonic system that <laughs> makes them give them basically basically <laughs> Gives him a headache essentially. Basically, you know what I'm talking about. It basically prevents him from getting into the base. Uh, unfortunately, that means that Fix It, Denny, and Russell are trapped. Um, but what happens is that uh, Denny and Russell are able to outrun Thunderho Thunderhoof and Clamp Down uh, almost. However, uh, Denny unfortunately still gets trapped. Russell is able to get out of the base and warn the Autobots on what the situation's going on. Uh, and basically fix it is buys enough time and pretty much frustrates the hell out of Steeljaw and eventually fix it complies and activates some of the stasis spots. Um, so what happens uh, is basically Drift um, and Bumblebee make a catapult to launch Slipstream and Jetstorm into the base, they're able to dif disable the, si the they're able to disable the the systems, uh, and and the Autobots are able to get into the base. They're able to uh, hold off the Decepticons, and they're also able to prevent the Decepticon prisoners from getting out of their safe spot, specifically Octopunch, Terror Shock, and Qualifier. We haven't seen. Haven't seen Quill Fire since, um, uh, I can't remember the episode. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think it's, um, anyways. But we haven't seen Terror Shock since W-O-O-D, and we haven't seen Octopunch since Deep Trouble, so it's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, they're able to hold off the prisoners. Steel Jaws defeat, uh, is, hold, is held off. Septicons retreat. Um, and basically, um, Drip proposes they go after Steel Draw, but Bumblebee says, let's fix the, let's fix the system. Um, at the end, however, uh, back at the, the steel mill, that's where the Decepticons ha have as their temporary base, Steel Draw pretty much takes out his frustration on, on the other Decepticons, and <laughs> they pretty much run off. However, a mysterious entity uh, appears out of nowhere. Uh, he's basically trapped in a dimension and proposes to Steeljaw that if he frees him from his dimension, that he can have Earth as his own uh, as his own place to rule. Essentially, if he agrees to help. Um, and that's the end of the episode. All in all, it was very interesting to see seeing Kickback. I honestly, I think we're gonna. <laughs> this won't be the last time we'll see him. I. Honestly, but we'll see. Um, seeing the haven't seen the haven't seen Steel John and the other Decepticons since. Uh, I think it was Sideways when Clampdown was introduced, which is pretty neat. Um, and all in all, it was pretty cool. That mysterious entity, however, I'm going to be curious to see who it is. It was very interesting. Um, it almost, anyways. I won't speculate right now at this point because <laughs> anything could happen with him. Um, but seeing, seeing him appear through the dement, uh, through the, that's 
steel sheet and then just crumple it. <laughs> Ugh, it's pretty cool. Anyways, um, all in all, very cool episode and very interesting, I must say. So yeah, that's my video review, the Transformers Robots in Disguise episode lockout. I'll see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible next year. And yeah, so take care, see you soon. Have a great day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.